alternating current, abbreviation AC, flow of electric charge that periodically reverses. It starts, say, from zero, grows to a maximum, decreases to zero, reverses, reaches a maximum in the opposite direction, returns again to the original value, and repeats this cycle indefinitely. The interval of time between the attainment of a definite value on two successive cycles is called the period, the number of cycles or periods per second is the frequency, and the maximum value in either direction is the amplitude of the alternating current. Low frequencies, such as 50 and 60 cycles per second, hertz, are used for domestic and commercial power, but alternating currents of frequencies around 100 million cycles per second, 100 MHz, are used in television and those of several thousand MHz in radar or microwave communication. Cellular telephones operate at frequencies of about 1,000 MHz, 1 GHz. Alternating current, AC, has the distinct advantage over direct current, DC, a steady flow of electric charge in one direction, of being able to transmit power over large distances without great loss of energy to resistance. The power transmitted is equal to the current times the voltage. However, the power lost is equal to the resistance times the square of the current. Changing voltages was very difficult with the first DC electric power grids in the late 19th century. Because of the power loss, these grids used low voltages to maintain high current and thus could only transmit usable power over short distances. DC power transmission was soon supplanted by AC systems that transmit power at very high voltages and correspondingly low current and easily use transformers to change the voltage. Current systems transmit power from generators at hundreds of thousands of volts and use transformers to lower the voltage to 220 volts, as in much of the world, or 120 volts, as in North America, for individual customers. See also electric current. DC. Direct current DC is the one directional flow of electric charge. An electrochemical cell is a prime example of DC power. Direct current may flow through a conductor, such as a wire, but can also flow through semiconductors, insulators, or even through a vacuum as an electron or ion beams. The electric current flows in a constant direction, distinguishing it from alternating current, AC. A term formerly used for this type of current was galvanic current. The abbreviations AC and DC are often used to mean simply alternating and direct, as when they modify current or voltage. Direct current may be converted from an alternating current supply by use of a rectifier, which contains electronic elements, usually, or electromechanical elements, historically, that allow current to flow only in one direction. Direct current may be converted into alternating current via an inverter. Direct current has many uses, from the charging of batteries to large power supplies for electronic systems, motors, and more. Very large quantities of electrical energy provided via direct current are used in smelting of aluminum and other electrochemical processes. It is also used for some railways, especially in urban areas. High voltage direct current is used to transmit large amounts of power from remote generation sites or to interconnect alternating current power grids. DIFFERNC and electric current that flows continuously in a single direction is called a direct current, or DC. The electrons in a wire carrying direct current move slowly, but eventually they travel from one end of the wire to the other because they keep plodding along in the same direction. The voltage in a direct current circuit must be constant, or at least relatively constant, to keep the current flowing in a single direction. Thus, the voltage provided by a flashlight battery remains steady, at about 1.5 V. The positive end of the battery is always positive relative to the negative end, and the negative end of the battery is always negative relative to the positive end. This constancy is what pushes the electrons in a single direction. Another common type of current is called alternating current, abbreviated AC. In an alternating current circuit, voltage periodically reverses itself. When the voltage reverses, so does the direction of the current flow. In the most common form of alternating current used in most power distribution. Systems throughout the world, the voltage reverses itself either 50 or 60 times per second, depending on the country.
In the United States, the voltage is reversed 60 times per second. Alternating current is used in nearly all the world's power distribution systems for the simple reason that AC current is much more efficient when it's transmitted through wires over long distances. All electric currents lose power when they flow for long distances, but AC circuits lose much less power than DC circuits. The electrons in an AC circuit don't really move along with the current flow. Instead, they sort of sit and wiggle back and forth. They move one direction for 1 slash 60th of a second, and then turn around and go the other direction for 1 slash 60th of a second. The net effect is that they don't really go anywhere.